guys, what's going on? It's Kevin, East Cape Skiffs. Behind me, it's another beautiful Vantage. Um, you always remember your first customers and stuff like that, but the Matthews family, we've known them for many years. They came on board back in 2010, maybe a little earlier to start looking, but this is their second boat. Uh, we have a ton of repeat business, obviously. Uh, they're going from a lossman to the Vantage. They have a lot of their friends that run the Vantage and they put it through the paces. The customer wasn't sure if he wanted an Evo, an Evo X, a Vantage, but ultimately decided on the Vantage. This is going in the Big Bend area. Uh, you'll see it from Crystal River all the way up to probably Steenhatchee. But uh, I'm gonna start at the bow and here we go. Standard trailer from Ramblin. It's the galvanized, fully welded, dry launch, everything that you'd expect. Uh, the colors on this, you guys know I am colorblind, but uh, Rob, what do we call that color? Amanda? I don't remember. She don't remember. <laughs> but I'll tell you what. Oh, Fiji. The, yeah, Fiji is off their color chart. So we got a Fiji color matching the actual cream color of the Ebon Rib 90. Uh, inside here, if you want to zoom, come on mm -hmm. over here. We have Tyler from Castaway Customs. We have the offset console. And then we have the faux teak going under gunnel and on the floor, and it ties in everything. Then we did a piano hinge in the front. As you guys can see, he will fly fish, and I'm short. We cut out the hatch. You can see he has more space. You don't have to have a liner, but he cut it out. It's one of the design features we did at Eastgate. Moving to the back, he's got the rod tubes under gunnel going forward. Then between the inside of the console and the gunnel, we have the four rod holders. His system is Lowrance. And by the way, I want to talk real quick. We've done almost a thousand boats now. This is the first we've done in a skiff. He has autopilot. <laughs> I was freaked out about it, but it actually serves a good purpose. I asked him, I said, Rob, what's up with that? He said, Kevin, honestly, it's for grouper fishing. He's got numbers marked in a path and the way he's going to work the rod and he wants his hands free. So by setting the autopilot and the speed, he can do exactly what he wants and not have to worry. And then he can override as instantly as he as soon as he wants. Controls up top on the switches. Laranche ADS 9. Uh, inside, he's got his power pole and stuff you'd expect in there. 12 volt plug. Inside, you can see how clean that is. And our consoles are glassed in. And then over here on the front, we have the toggles. First cushions. I've opened up the inside all the time on these boats. Nothing special there, guys. But uh, again, we have a welded rod holder. We have the one step traditional Vantage. We also got to remember this. This was a little gift from his wife just now. But that's the V Marine insert cap, the little fish cap. Fits on all these high end steering wheels. This is the Gem Lux. So Amanda just gave it to Rob. Uh, he went for the gift, didn't read the card. But uh, let's go to the motor. 90 Evinrude, ton of torque. He is an Evinrude customer. Uh, we do love the Evinrude 90 and the 60. We missed the original 115HO, but uh, he's got underwater lights going on there. And that's not just for looking cool at dinner. That's actually for backing down at night, or he's gonna do a lot of shrimping at night so he can stand back there with a dip net on either side. We have the Black Blade by Power Pole. We love them guys too. We have the rod holders out on either side for storage. Got to have the cup holder on top, not just for the beverage, but for flies, lures, anything like that. But you guys, ch check this thing out. He's going to do a quick pan. East Cape Vantage. To give you an idea, these boats, the Vantage model, everybody's always asking how much. You're going to be anywhere from mid-40s to mid-50s out the door. Uh, this would be on the lower range. But if you guys have any questions, hit us up. Matthew's family, thank you so much. Second time around, we love you guys and all you guys out there in cyberspace. Be on the lookout for this one. Y'all take care. See ya.